Sorry. I was, was distracted by a fine ass female with a with a nice some nice hips. She had nice hips, boy. I'm gonna get a good look at that shit. Yeah, she had nice hips. <clears throat> so <clears throat> the thing is, man, we all make decisions in life, right? We make decisions. And there's an outcome after every decision that we make in life, right? So if we, if we decide not to go to school, not to open up our own business, not to do anything in life, be don't be surprised if you don't get anything out of life. You know what I'm saying? Don't be surprised if you suffer in the dating market. Don't be surprised if you uh, be stuck with that same job for the rest of your life. Or a low-paying job for the rest of your life. Don't be surprised if no chick wants you. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you don't want to have to struggle in the dating market for the rest of, uh, for your whole entire life. You don't want to have to suffer. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to have to do that. So a lot of guys are suffering in the dating market because they made bad decisions when they were younger. Or they made this bad decisions, period. You know, you don't want to have to struggle to have a piece of ass, a young piece of ass around you. You don't want to have to struggle with that. See, thing is, guys with resources, they're not struggling in that category. They're not struggling, struggling to keep a piece of ass around them. You know, it don't matter what they look like. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, some of the most ugliest motherfuckers got bitches around them uh, getting sexually satisfied by uh, bitches and shit like that, man. You know what I'm saying? No matter what they look like. We're talking about Lil Wayne, Seal, you know, uh, some of the most ugliest motherfuckers on earth are getting their knees met, you know what I'm saying, by models and shit. Now, the thing is, these models might not be attracted to these men, but they making sure you bust a good nut, okay? Even though they might not come themselves because they might not be attracted to you, they might leave you in like, like in the future, in the near future, but you are able to replace them really quickly if they leave. When they leave, you're able to to fucking replace these hoes because you got what? Resources. And you can keep on replacing them over and over again throughout your whole entire life. You won't you won't go a day without a blowjob. Because they're gonna suck your dick. They're gonna force themselves to like you because of who you are. That's what women do. They force themselves on some of the most unattractive men on the face of the planet. You unattractive? You still gonna get your dick sucked. You still gonna get your dick wet. You know what I'm saying? It beats being by yourself, jacking off, broke, ugly, unattractive, all at the same time. Which life would you rather have? Being unattractive, broke, with a, I mean, I mean, um, <clears throat> unattractive, rich, successful, famous, or would you have, would you rather have, I mean, let me rephrase that. Rich, unattractive, famous, with a bunch of bitches around you that want to suck your dick and give you pussy just because who you are? Or do you want to be broke, unattractive, no women at all around you? Zero. And being lonely as hell. Because you're unattractive. I would I'd rather pick the road with the what uh being rich, ugly, and having the options. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather pick that road. You know what I mean? It's better than the road being by by being by yourself. And ugly with no resources. See, a lot of you guys, like I said before, focus on the process. 
oh, if I roll, enroll in school, I'm going to be up in that classroom, man. They're going to give me a bunch of homework, and I don't feel like doing that. Well, the outcome of that is that you're going to suffer in a daily market. You're going to suffer financially. You're going to be at a broke-ass job. Uh, you're going to always have a boss over you. You're never going to escape the matrix like that. You know what I'm saying? At least if you enroll in school or if you become a doctor or a lawyer or, or become an actor, you'll be able to escape the matrix in time. Not right now, not next month, not, not next year, but in time, as time progresses, as time goes on. If you're an unattractive, ugly guy with no looks, you really have to be focusing on the what? The brain. Because everything is against you. Women are against you. You know, the society is against you. Because this society is based on looks. So you have to overcome overcome it with your brain. You make changes because I want to have a better life. I don't want to have to deal with average hoes. I don't want to have to deal with the ugly hoes. I don't want to have to deal with not having any hoes. I'm not saying get married to these bitches and shit, but I'm saying just having a piece of ass around all the time will make your life a lot better. Because not interacting with women throughout your whole entire life, not being able to have women around, that would drive you nuts. I don't care who you are. That would drive you nuts, not able to able to sleep with the women that you want to sleep with. I know how you motherfuckers feel. I know how you incels feel. You walking around, you seeing the Chads and Tyrones with bitches and shit like it ain't nothing. They walking around with the bitches that you really want like it ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? Kel Cat, I'm not satisfied with my lane. I want, I'm want. i pushing for more. I want the 8, 9s and 10s. I don't want the 5, 6s and 7s, man. I do. I'll, I'll deal with them. That's my lane for now. But only for now. In the future, I want the 8, 9s and 10s. So I'm saving my money, stacking my bread. Getting my shit ready. And the thing is, I'm having a backup plan too. I'm not just going to be doing YouTube, man. I'm going to be pursuing music again. I made up my mind. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be I'm gonna be doing beats and shit. I'm going to be working with singers and shit. Like I was doing in the first place in my 20s before I met my ex-girlfriend. I stopped doing that shit when I met that bitch. I'm picking my shit back up again. Fuck that bitch. I'm not going to let that bitch spoil my motherfucking shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, I want you men to have pussy around you. I want you to have a more fulfilling life, man. You know what I'm saying? Make the changes necessary to get pussy in your life. I did. I ain't got the best pussy in my life, but I got some pussy in my life. I'm fucking. I can say that. Yeah, I'm fucking eight. I'm fucking five, sixes, and sevens. When you start getting toward eight, nines, and tens, that fucking that fucking uh, territory is blocked, nigga. But I'm just saying, like, make a decision based on the future. I want to be fucking eight, nines, and tens in the future. So I'm going to make this decision here. Okay. Kelcat, like I said, my decisions in the in the in the future is gonna be toward acting and shit. I wanna act. I wanna be in movies and shit. You know what I mean? That's why I'm staying in top physical condition. Because when you go to Hollywood, they want you to be shredded. You know what I'm saying? I want my revenge on my ex girlfriends in the past. I want them to see me on a motherfucking screen. And, and the thing is, before you make a decision, just question it. Just be like, you know what? You know what? Because I learned this from a, from a friend of mine. And he said, man, he saved $10,000, he said. And he said he, he bought nothing that he didn't need. And every time he would buy something, he would question it. He'd be like, will this help me advance? You know what I'm saying? Will this help me get to where I need to go? And if it's no, he won't do it. 
You know what I'm saying? Everything that you do, you got to question it. Well, this helped me with my fitness channel. You know what I'm saying? Well, this helped me build my own business. If I, if I, if it's no, and I do it now, that's stupid. Now you're becoming stupid. You're doing stupid stuff. If it's if it's no, and you don't do it, then you're being smart. Okay. When I buy my enhancements, I ask the question. Will this help me have a better body for my YouTube channel? And if the answer is yes, I'm doing it. The enhancements help me. You see, I got shredded six-pack, chiseled jawline. You know what I'm saying? A better physique. So I invested in myself. Even though enhancements are not really good for you. But I invested in myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking a day off today. I've been working too hard. Six days a week and shit. Taking a day off. I'm no rush. I'm not in a rush today. But I'm just saying. I was talking to a guy the other day about his schooling. He's working at the pier making chump change. And I told him, I was like, look. You're going to be working there for the rest of your life. Go to school. Do about six or seven years. You know. And. And then graduate and get on with your business, man. Don't be there for 20, 30, 40 years and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? That's too fucking long. A lot of guys, they stay. They stay. They stay in a motherfucking bubble for like years and years and years and they just don't they don't move a lot of guys are going to die dirt poor you know what i'm saying because their decisions are to stay in one spot and not progress their decision is not to go to school their decision is not to build their own business their their decision is not to go to hollywood and become an actor and follow what follow their dreams they rather they rather follow the pussy you know what I'm saying? And get married and shit. And, and destroy all of their dreams. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm distracted by all this pussy walking by me and shit. Sorry, I'm on the juice right now, man. It's got me looking at that pussy like steak and shit. But, you don't want your dreams. God damn, look at this bra, man. Oh my God. God, look at this ass. Oh, man, I think I'm going to give you guys a shot of this shit. This is Black Bra walking over here. You know what I'm saying? And she's throwing her hair around and shit. God damn, she's wearing them spandex. Oh, man, she got a nice ass. See, thing is, man, you don't want to be that puppy in the window forever looking at all that ass and can't get none. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking to the incels. You looking inside the motherfucking store and you just can't get nothing inside the store. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you like a little puppy outside the store looking in the window. While everybody else is buying shit, you can't buy nothing. Because you a puppy, man. You, you, can't, you, can't, you, you can't talk. You can't go up to the register. You don't, you don't have no money. You know what I'm saying? I'm, what I'm trying to do is Prevent your unhappiness. If you're in your 20s, you got to get on your shit, man. Or you're going to be in your 30s wishing you would have took care of your shit in your 20s. You're going to look up and it's gonna be, you're going to be 50 years old. You ain't, you ain't going to have shit. And some of you guys dislike my video when I talk about this uh, this self-improvement. But, but who's unhappy right now? Who's getting like leftover bitches? Or who's getting no bitches at all right now? Who's unhappy? Who's on... On, on social media complaining about why women are not choosing them. I'm trying to prevent that, man. I'm trying to bring your happiness into your life. Hard work and dedication will make your life a lot happier. I want you guys to have victory. And then I want you to do a victory lap. 
in your life. If you're lazy and black, that shit don't mix. Okay? But I got to get up out of here. Change your life for the better so you can have the better bitches, man. I mean, that's what I'm doing. Look, dude, I want tons of Asian women around me in the future. I'm not going to do anything to fuck that up. I want tons of bitches around me where I'm, I'm never, ever having a day without a blowjob from an Asian broad. I want to be successful in having two Asian bras living with me while I fuck them both or fuck them at the same time, fuck them one at a time. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to marry these hoes. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to be having them around just for sexual purposes and um, companionship. That's it. I don't promote marriage on this fucking on this fucking channel because marriage don't work in this country. I'm talking about just having your dick wet. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about just busting a motherfucking nut around and having some bitches around you. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to promote the Floyd Money Mayweather lifestyle. Having bitches around and being there to fucking shit. You know what I'm saying? Going on shopping sprees in the future. Being able to buy what you want. Not struggling and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm promoting all this shit on this channel. Getting your body right. Having six pack abs. You know what I'm saying? Having motherfucking uh 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 a uh, 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 fucking huge chest, a huge gorilla chest. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I'm promoting getting right on this channel. You know what I'm saying? Fuck all that suffering and this shit. Suffering. I ain't got this. I ain't got that. But you guys have a good day. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like and a comment. Click the notification bell button so you would never, ever, ever, nigga, miss another video from me. And I'm out.